Hey guys, Robin Rosado here. So videotaping your golf swing, that's something that we have in our unlimited reviews where you can get instructions from me or any of the guys on the website as far as trying to videotape your golf swing. And one issue that we have, the problem that we have is a lot of people do is that they say, oh, I don't have somebody that can videotape my swing for me. They don't want to ask that random person on the range. Well, this is going to be your solution for that, and that is actually selfie golf. This is a great device that we got introduced to. It's going to hook onto your alignment stick here. It's got two clips, really, really, really well made. First one goes, the red part here is going to go into your alignment stick. And the second part here is going to be for your phone or camera. And you can see it's going to hold it really, really well. Look how wide that goes. So we're going to stick our phone in there. And now we're good to go down the line because we really want to get one down the line and we want to get one face on as well. So now you can hit record and go. Now a lot of people say, well, I don't really have an alignment stick. What do I do if I don't? Now I have to go buy one. Well, now you can actually use your driver. So they have a, they created a little clip that clips onto your driver. Here goes into the shaft, so your driver is sticking right next to your golf bag, and you put the alignment, the selfie golf, right onto the alignment stick here or the golf shaft, and then you can take your phone, again, stick right in. Now you have a great face-on angle, and, they, and then you don't have to ask again a random person. All right, so one thing that we look for if I'm viewing someone's swing through our unlimited reviews down the line is see if they're really shallow at the club, and that's one thing that we talk about in our top speed golf systems and going on to the move. And in actuality, I'm working on that currently myself. When we shallow out the club, from a, on the start of our downswing, we want to shallow it out early in our downswing. So then if we come in too steep and then come into a ball, then shallow, shallow the club out late, then we're getting a little stuck. So that's actually what's happening to me right now. When I, get, when I start my downswing, I'm working really hard on trying to shallow out that club early. So when we step, I have a tendency to come too steep in the ball and then I shallow it out too late, and so my misses, if I don't tie my hands out right to square the club face, my miss pretty much almost every time is going to be out to the right. So what I'm working on a ton is really trying to feel myself shallow out that club, first move off the downswing, and then I can go ahead and come down and have a ton of leg into the ball and rotate through and dive a nice good finish. So that's why it's perfect for this selfie golf. I'm able to use it for myself when no one else is around so I can see, oh, okay, I'm not quite there. I'm not there yet, but I really want to get there and see if I can shallow it out. Let me see if, uh, if my practice of my selfie golf here has worked out and paid off for me. All right, right down the middle. We'll say it's working. All right, guys. Good luck out there. Check out selfie golf and have fun. All right, guys. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you did, I got an even better bonus for you. If we want to get distance in the golf swing, we've got to get a lot of lag, and then we've got to let that lag go. Well, I've got my number one lag video. I'm going to play a preview of that here in a second. If you're on a phone or a tablet, click the iCard that's somewhere on your screen right now. That's going to take you to where you can get instant access to that full video. Plus, you're going to get five videos from our top speed golf system. Never going to cost you a dime. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Click that thumbs up button. That really helps us out. And also remember to subscribe. That way you'll see our newest videos. See you guys in the lag video. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard and in today's video we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see and in this drill what we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag and then we're going to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you can, that you can do to build lag. I'm going to talk about the science behind why this is the case and I'm also going to give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get if started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we want to do is throughout the swing, I want to have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not going to set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, look at Tiger Woods. All these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only going to max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be.